And we need to ask God for His Spirit. Because when we ask it, we will receive. And I want to say to you tonight, what are you asking God for? You know, my concern with the charismatic Pentecostal thinking is that we have become so fleshly motivated, so interested in our prayer life about meeting our material needs rather than actually focusing on the promise that Christ gave to us. Amen. The promise is the Holy Spirit. The promise is the anointing of God. The promise is that we would be witnesses, instruments for Christ wherever God has placed us. That is the, the cry of God's heart for us. And we need to seek God. You see, when you seek God for His presence, when you seek God for the impartation of more of His Spirit upon your life daily, that is when your physical needs will be taken care of. God knows your need. God takes care of the sparrows of the air, and they do not go without food. How much more? How much more will God provide all your needs according to His riches and His glory? But the reason why we are dead in the Spirit is because we don't ask for it. And we don't seek after it. Because that is the very promise of the New Testament. The promise of the New Testament is forgiveness of sins through Christ Jesus. And the fulfillment of forgiveness of sins is the baptism of the Holy Spirit manifesting Christ's glory through a sinful man and the glory and the righteousness of God's fire being evident through our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to Jesus. And you know, we need to ask God. Because if we don't ask, we don't receive. Yeah. 